We're here tonight that is the Mirror Fall Youth Committee in conjunction with the newly formed Arnold Peltier Committee. We have the ultimate aim of securing the liberation of Nana Peltier from prison in America. As you can see behind me with the teepees and the activists, we're here to highlight the people of West Belfast the injustice of Nana Peltier's case. Nana Peltier is probably one of the most longest serving political prisoners on the world today. I am 17 and that is, on, that is more than double what I have lived. That is just ridiculous. As young people who, have, who didn't live through the troubles here in Ireland, we have gradually learned over time about our past, about the likes of Bobby Sands and the Hayes Blocks, about Nelson Mandela and Robert Lennon, or be a pal there in America. We are here today to urge and demand of Barack Obama to exercise his power to grant Leonard Peltier clemency, meaning to give Leonard Peltier his freedom and liberation at last. Well, Ireland for Peltier uh, is a campaign which is uh, raising awareness of the plight of Leonard Peltier, the uh, Native American political prisoner who spent almost 40 years in prison. Uh, he's exhausted all his remedies in terms of the US justice system and his only uh, hope for freedom is the grant of clemency by President Obama. President Obama has less than 500 days in office uh, so this campaign needs to mobilize uh, and be part of that small a small part of that critical mass that forces him to grant clemency to Leonard Pelde. So we're going to be involved in political lobbying, uh, lobbying the human rights community, uh, fundraising, we're going to be getting involved in uh, concerts and various events such as today to raise awareness and raise the Leonard. Hopefully do our small part to uh, force uh, President Obama to do the right thing and free Leonard Peltier. I have been delighted to be here today with these young people. We have spent most of the day here protesting for the release of Leonard Peltier. Uh, we've had good conversation. A lot of questions have been asked. They have stood on the picket line during the pouring rain. I have to commend them for their actions. Uh, one of the young men wrote a sign and really touched my heart that made me really think about the amount of time that Leonard's been in prison. In 1981, during the hunger strike, Leonard Peltier was in prison. When Nelson Mandela was released, Leonard Peltier was still in prison. When they signed the GFA in, in this country, Leonard Peltier was still in prison. And today, 39 years, 6 months, and 6 days, Leonard Peltier is still in prison on his birthday, September 12th. And it breaks my heart that we have not got the support yet built up to bring P Leonard Peltier home. What we knew need is for people to generate support, to start talking to their neighbors, to start talking to their friends, to start blogging for the release of Leonard Peltier. Let the White House hear that we want Leonard Peltier freed. I was delighted tonight to be able to read a letter that Leonard Peltier wrote to these young people. Uh, several of the things that he mentioned in the letter um, touched my heart. He told them that the youth here, because of their action and their motivation to get involved and to help him, has given him hope. It's given him hope for his own youth back home who are dying from suicide. Uh, one thing he did say, if Obama does not, if President Obama does not free him during this clemency campaign, he will die in prison. So we're making appeal here today to President Obama to look through the case, to look at the constitutional violations that have been committed against Leonard Peltier and to please grant him executive clemency. Obama has 497 days in office, or 96 days as of today in office. So we've got that many days to build the support to bring Leonard home. So let's free Leonard Peltier.